Hi everybody. This video is dedicated to running through the diagram activity that I assigned in Google Classroom. And I want to mention that using a video tutorial is a great way to learn how to do something. It allows you to stop, pause, review, go back and view screen by screen what needs to be done. So that's what we're going to do today with the diagram activity. So the first thing I'd like to do is I'm going to enter a student account to show you how your screen will look. So I'm going to go over here. I'm on my Mac at home. All right, I need to get into Google Classroom. And right here, if you're in Google and not in your account yet, over here, and it's not showing, it'll say sign in. You click that and you will be instructed to type in your email, school email, and your password. So I'm looking for Google Classroom and I'm not seeing it. Let me try more from Google. Okay, so I'm not finding it. No problem. What you do is you go up here and I will type in Google Classroom. And right here, I guess we click it right here. Now it's asking me to sign in. Okay, there we are. I'm going to enter my class and find the assignment. Now my this assignment is down a little ways because I assigned it a little ways back. Here it is right here. All right. You want to open up the assignment instructions right here. And here we go. So what it says is you need to read the instructions carefully and we're going to go through each of these steps. It says to leave these instructions open while you're constructing the Google drawing. That way you can refer back each tab. So what I'm going to do is open a new tab because that's what it says to do. I can look over here for Google Drawings, but I'm not seeing it. So again, no problem. I'm going to type in a search for it. It says to click the first link. And now I'm in my account in Google Drawings. All right. So first thing it says is to, after you open it, you'll be in your account. You give the file name diagram. So I will do that. Once again, great thing about these tutorial videos is you can pause, review, and see you know what steps you're missing if you get confused. Next, you need to right click in the workspace. So I'm not going to keep going back and forth here to this document because I've done it a million times, but here's what you do. You right click inside of here. And if you don't have a mouse, you will use two fingers down on your touchpad. See how it says background? I'm just going to give it a color. So one of my favorite colors is here. There we go. Then you open a new tab and you're going to do a Google images search for some picture that is has more than five or six parts. So images and I'm going to search myself for a clarinet. It can be anything though. So I will find a clarinet. I guess uh, this looks good enough. There it is. Okay. Next step, you right click on here. The easiest way to do this, right click and go to copy image and make sure it says copy image. Now I can go back to drawings. I right click inside of this space. 
and I will paste that image. There we go. All right, what I want to do is make this large and center it. I can make it a little fatter, I guess, but um, you can see these crosshairs will tell you if it's centered. There it is, see that line right there? Okay, and I'll make it a little tall. Oh, no, it's not fitting. There we go, all right. I think that's good enough. All right. So this is what it's supposed to look like when we're done, right here. At the bottom of the instructions, you'll see that there's a sample, and that's what we want. We want to use these arrow shapes and then type right in those arrow shapes to label the parts. Very simple. So I'm going to go up to, it says to drag your mouse over these menus down here until you find shapes. And there it is. Okay, shapes. You can get a line arrow, but we don't want that. Shapes. Click it. There's the arrows. So I usually use just a right facing arrow or a left facing arrow. So I'm going to start with this and your mouse has a crosshair or a plus sign. I am going to just hold down and draw the arrow. When I let go, there it is. You can turn it with this circle if you need to. You can move it. Okay, and you just double click inside of there and type the part. Very simple. So that is the mouthpiece. Okay, that's done. Let me go back up to shapes again. Arrow. This time I'll get a right facing arrow. This is called a double click inside. This is called the bell. Now you can see that it's the arrow is bigger than it needs to be. You can reshape it if you need to. There we go. All right. I'm going back up here. Shapes. Whoops. Arrows. I'm sorry. Um, I'll use the same arrow. This time, I will. I don't know. I'll do the do one of these keys here. Now, it got a little bit out of whack, so I'm going to move it so it's touching the part. I'll name this C. Key. Oops. Or, I'm going to push Enter. Oh, that got a little distorted. I'll have to fix that. Low F. All right, so what I'm going to do is, I think I can just make the arrow a little bit bigger. There, that fits better. Cool. All right, next, I'll go back up here, and I'll get the other arrow. And I'm going to label this. That's called the barrel. So I have one, two, three, four. I need two more. Go back to shape, arrow. I think I'll use this arrow. This is called the upper point. And one more. See, one, two, three, four, five. I need one more. I'll go over here once again to shape arrows and I'll label this area lower joint whoops that's it that's all there is to it labeling something it's great Google drawings is wonderful so at this point what you'd want to do is turn this in. And the best way not to share it, I think the easiest way is to go through 
Google Classroom. So this is saved in my drive. Everything I do is saved in my drive. I'm going to go back, way back over here, this tab, which is the assignment itself. I'm going over here to add or create. Go into my drive. See Google Drive right here? It should be in recents because I just worked on it. Here it is, right here. I click it or I could double click it. It's going to load up right here. Once it does, I can click turn in and turn in. That's it. All done. That way I can access it through the assignment in Google Classroom. All right. The other thing you possibly could do is you could share it with me. If that's not working, you could click share and you would type in my email address which is Tim Gott Parker and it should pop up quickly and then you could send it to me that way all right but the best way is through Google Classroom okay so let me go back to my account I hope that helped um, let me know if there's any problems and good luck thank you